Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the uh, gimbal in the corner there, look, because I put it on wide. Wide field. And I thought I'd put it on wild, wild, wild field. Wild, <laughs> wide field. So you can see all the workshop. I think it makes for a better shot. Um, so it's not the morning, it's the day after a brew. It's Friday, in fact, and we finished brewing um, the third vacant this week. Uh, shall I? Well, why not? Let's go on a um, tangent and explain why I've got the heat gun out. The heat gun is out because I've got one of those little thermostats on the um, outlet of the plate chiller. It came with the, uh, oh, what was it called? The brew, what's the pilot kit called that I bought? Anyway, the stainless steel pilot kit, I forgot the name of the bloody things. And it's one of their little rubber housed, grommety kind of um, thermostats. And that's what I use to supervise the temperature of the work coming out of the plate chiller. And it got wet inside. So I took it apart and dried it with a heat gun because I didn't have time to wait for it to dry naturally. And uh, I had a zebra strip in it, didn't it, and I pulled it apart. Fortunately, I got it working again. So, it's the end of the week. It's the end of the brew day. It is uh, the middle of March, I guess. So, I've not done many videos this week. And I know I started to pick up quite a few last week. And um, we were doing pretty much one a day for a week or two. This week, because I've been brewing the same beer and... A lot of it is, of course, mash in the morning, and we're waiting for the transfer, and we're waiting for the boil, and there's just like two hop additions, and then waiting for it to cool down. It doesn't make a great brewing video like it would do if we were using a homebrew kit, where we're moving hoses around, we're talking about the grain bill, we're maybe looking at the hops in a bit more detail, and the yeast that we're going to use. Everyone knows what the vacant gesture is. So it was not something I thought was going to make a good video. I did film a time lapse of me doing the mashing yesterday morning. But then I didn't do anything else for the rest of the day. Because I had loads of kind of boring tasks to do. So to let you in on a little secret, which is not really a secret. We're in the process of buying our house off the council. It was a council house. And oh, it's taken forever. And the solicitors are rubbish, the bank's rubbish. So all of these things are kind of uh, conspiring against us getting this aspect of our life, which is away from the brewery, completed. In fact, we started the process in 2019. And of course, with the advent of the coronavirus pandemic in 2020, we put the brakes on it because we didn't know if we were going to have a business or not at the other side of it all. Fortunately... Um, we do. So we start the whole shebang again in May, believe it or not, 2021. And here we are. Um, what is the date today? On the 11th of March. And we've still not completed. It's unbelievably slow and painstaking. The only bonus is we've managed to put more money away for the deposit into our right to buy ISA so I guess we'll get more money off the back of that but the downside is we have been paying rent every month so it's dead money isn't it that could be in our pocket ultimately so that has been like a really long drawn out process which has taken a lot of my energy actually dealing with other people who just drag their feet in their day to day job no obviously they've got no respect for themselves on how they perform a task they're just doing the minimum amount possible to get by in the day by the looks of it. And don't get me started on uh, the way that they've closed all the branches for the, like Barclays Bank in Redford, they've closed all the branches within like a 20 mile radius of us. Then we're we'll passed from pillar to post when we want to speak to a mortgage advisor. And then I've got another grant with Barclays as well. We've had to open up another bank account with Barclays because the brewery account that we were using was the original partnership account. So this gets into kind of corporate law, if you like. So we had a partnership, limited liability partnership between me, Stu and Gemma, when we set up the brew shed. Then we incorporated the brew shed to the brew shed, Redford Limited. 
and we opened another bank account up for that which left us with the Bruce partnership account and we've just been using that for the brewery you know as a checking account if you like so anyway there's some new regulation maybe they think I'm a Russian um, oligarch I wouldn't mind being, be, being a few quid behind one let's be honest uh, so yeah long story short it's already a long story a bit late for that I guess um, they wanted us to open a new bank account because obviously the partnership doesn't exist anymore not as a legal entity anyway it's now a Harrison's Brewery Limited so they forced this upon us to open a new account and then we had to have an appointment they said we'll send you the details of this appointment uh, just one email they sent us initially saying we're going to follow up with the details the details never arrived so the day before the appointment I ring them you know we didn't have to I ring them where's the appointment it's on the telephone right where do we send all these um, documents that you wanted us to fill in uh, oh um, just reply to the email that I sent you bearing in mind the email said do not reply in the header it's absolutely crackers and then today they've come back to us saying they can't open the account which they forced us to apply to open take a breath because on company's house Gemma's middle name has got a spelling mistake in it there's two letters the wrong way around and then in order to change that I have to submit a confirmation statement to company's house and to do that I have to log into their special server and create an account and then I need a, a special number to prove that it's me so you press request the number and they're sending it in the post it's going to take five days I can't catch my breath sometimes with the incompetence no wonder this country well, this one's great. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, isn't it? But, could be worse. You know, there's a lot worse things going on out there. And I did have a moment to myself today where I briefly reflected at what position we are in. And I thought to myself, how would I look back on now, in five years' time, if I changed what I was doing? Or if I look back at myself five years ago from today how much would I want to be in this position that I'm in now and that was quite a lot if I look at where I was five years ago would I want to be here where I am today absolutely yes so you know I am kind of happy with what we're doing so there we go a little bit of a bit of a rant and uh, just I just wanted to talk to somebody today actually get it off my chest so it's not going to be like a really interesting video There'll probably be quite a few tangents and whatnot in there you might have noticed that I'm stood nursing a pint of beer. This, ladies and gentlemen, 